guys, it's Jessie here, back with another video. I'm bringing you my May favorites today. It is the end of May, and that's the time I jump on here, talk to you guys about all the products that I used and loved throughout the month. I don't have a ton of things to talk to you guys about today, but there's a fair few, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, first thing I want to talk to you guys about is an eyeshadow palette. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie palette. It's this from the Center Stage collection. It's the Photo Op eyeshadow. I got this in an Ipsy bag, um, I don't even know how long ago now, a few months back probably, and I've just been loving this lately. We've had very kind of warm, summer-ish weather here in Southeast Michigan, so I'm pulling out my more summer appropriate makeup. You may notice I'm looking a little bronzy today. Um, I maybe overdid the bronzer a little bit today, so if I look a little patchy, sorry about that you guys. But this eyeshadow palette has just been amazing. It's got this really gorgeous orange shade, which I put right in my crease lightly, and I think it makes my green eyes pop so beautifully. Um, it's got this really pretty kind of peachy shade here that looks really nice on the lid. Uh, this neutrally shade has been fantastic, like on my brow bone. And then I've been taking this deep brown in the center and using that on my lower lash line as well as over top of my eyeliner. And I just think it's been a really cool look. Um, different from my kind of normal neutrals that I usually wear. So those are the swatches there. This orange is so pigmented. I really have to use a light hand with that. Um, otherwise I look a little crazy. But really, really been liking this this last month. Um, the eyeliner that I've been using in conjunction with this is the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in coffee. I picked one of these up from Kmart and if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw the picture that I posted. Um, it was completely dried out and unusable so I obviously had to replace it. I went to Walmart and purchased this one which is perfect. But I posted that picture um, on e.l.f.'s Facebook page and they actually were kind enough to send me a coupon code um, for their website to replace it so I didn't really want to wait to get this so I didn't use it yet but I thought that was really nice they totally didn't have to do that they recommended that I return it to Kmart where I bought it and they offered to replace it for me which was really nice so super satisfied with Elf's customer service um, that's an additional favorite but this eyeliner is amazing um, I love their cream eyeliner in black and so I decided I wanted to try the brown and I'm so glad that I did. It's incredibly creamy, um, glides on smooth, really nice. It's not too cool and it's not too warm so I find that it really goes well with all eyeshadow looks um, and it sets and it doesn't budge so really really loving that. I use um, a Sigma pointed eyeliner brush to apply this and it works perfectly. So. That's another favorite. Loving that. Um, speaking of bronzer, I mentioned that I went a little overboard with the bronzer today, and this is the bronzer that I used. I'm pretty sure I've talked to you guys about this before, but I wanted to mention it again. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer in Bronzed and Chic. This is an amazing bronzer. Um, like I said, I may have gone a little bit overboard with it, but it's actually really, really hard to do that. Um, it, you can just swirl your brush in it and do it all together and it gets a really nice deep bronze shade uh, without looking muddy, especially on my pale skin. It's really, really easy um, to, for bronzers to turn muddy looking and dirty, but I don't find that this does that at all. It's a really gorgeous bronzer. You can see it there. Um, or you can just pick and choose the shade that you like, this light shade here. Um, is the shade that I tend to go for most of the time because, like I said, my pale skin. Um, really, really love this bronzer, so that's another favorite. And as you can see from the sticker, I got this at Big Lots for just $3.50. I believe this has been discontinued now, so um, it's probably not very readily available, but check your local Big Lots because that's where I found mine. Also check places like Amazon. You can generally find... Um, discontinued products pretty pretty easily on Amazon or on eBay, so there's that. Um, blush that I've worn pretty much every day this month has been the e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. This is just such a pretty subtle coral blush. Um, 
It's definitely more coral than peachy. I think the one in Peachy Keen from e.l.f. is much more peach. Um, that's what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very natural on my skin. Um, I feel like it goes really well with these kind of bronzier eye looks and the bronzed um, skin from the bronzer. So I just really like the way that it looks. Um, and it's super affordable. You can pick these up from Target. Um, my local Walmart just recently started selling um, e.l.f. products, which is awesome. You can get it for just $3, so you really can't beat that. Love that blush. Uh, what else? From my Ipsy bag this month, the bag in general was kind of a bust for me, but I did have one product that I really loved. I got this little tiny perfume sample from Calvin Klein. This is Endless Euphoria. Um, it's just a little rollerball, but this smells so good. It is just a really light kind of floral scent, um, generally floral scents I either love or I hate. Generally the ones that I hate tend to be the really heavily perfumed floral scents. This is just really nice and subtle um, and I really, really like it. I doubt that I will ever buy the full size of this because I'm sure it's crazy expensive and I have so many perfumes already, but I'm definitely going to use up this little sample because I really, really love that. Mm. Uh, let's talk about my favorite lipstick this month. I picked this up. Um, I saw this actually swatched on Pinterest and I pinned it and I just loved the way it looked so much that I had to go and buy it. This reminds me a lot of a lipstick that I wore a ton. I want to say it was a Rimmel lipstick as well. This is also from Rimmel um, in Asia is what it was, but that's long since been discontinued, I believe. Um, but this reminds me a lot of that. It's just a neutral kind of shade. Smells super sweet and nice. Um, I'm wearing it today. I just really love it. This is from the Kate Collection. It's number eight. Um, it's their lasting finish by Kate Lipstick. So um, these are also really affordable. I paid less than $5 for this. So if you haven't checked out these lipsticks from Rimmel, the Kate Collection, I highly recommend it, especially this one in eight. Um, it's just really nice. Uh, goes on really easily. It matches everything. It's a nice neutral shade. Um, this is kind of the shade of lipstick that I really like. Kind of like a mauve my lips but better color. Um, I'm sure that if you went through my lipstick collection you'd find a dozen more very very similar to this. But this is the one I'm liking this month. Loving that. Uh, a few more things to share with you. Uh, my base and top coat for my nail polish were being stubborn and getting thick. And so I was going to replace them, and then I decided just to pick up some nail polish thinner. I've never used nail polish thinner before this, which is kind of crazy considering what a polish junkie that I am. Um, this is the Beauty Secrets Nail Polish Thinner. You get this right at Sally Beauty Supply. I paid $4 for this. Um, and it, you just put a couple of drops of this in your polish that's gotten thick, and it restores the consistency, makes it completely usable again. Um, I feel like this is going to be a lifesaver for me because... I have a lot of nail polish. I have upwards of 350 nail polishes, you guys, easily. So um, over time, polishes do sometimes become a little bit thick, and this is going to really help me with that. Like I said, I've already used this a few times on a base coat and a top coat, and it worked beautifully, so I'm super excited to have this, and this is definitely one of my favorite things this month. Um, sticking with polish, my favorite nail polish this month was actually this one from Julep. This is America. I wore this for Memorial Day over top of uh, red polish from Simple Colors. Um, this is just absolutely beautiful. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. You also may have seen this if you watched my video on the nail polishes that I wore in the month of May. This is just so stunning. Considering it's such a chunky glitter, the formula on this is amazing. And this is a clear base but it's very densely packed with red and silver and blue glitters um, as well as star glitter, which is so cool. Um, this is just beautiful and I wish that I had more opportunities to wear it. You know, you kind of can only get away with this sort of polish around like Memorial Day, Fourth of July, that sort of thing, but um, it's absolutely beautiful. I really, really wish I had a backup of this. And you can check out that video if you want to see swatches. Um, but 
there's a little preview of what that looks like. Doesn't do it justice at all. You really have to see it on the nails. So check out my nail polishes video if you haven't checked that out already. Um, another thing that I really loved from Julep this month is the plie wands. I got this as part of my May box. And this is so cool. This you adapt to fit onto your Julep nail polishes and it helps you to polish your nails neater. So basically what you do, not basically what you do, what you do, you take this over cap off of your Julep polishes and you put the adapter cap on it and you just push it down and then this magnetizes right in there and then this helps you to your hand to remain steady while you polish your nails and this has made such a difference in the way that I polish my nails. I did not expect to love this nearly as much as I do but it steadied my hands, made it really, really easy to polish, um, gives me a little bit of extra length so when I do like pedicures and things, um, it makes it really, really easy. This also swivels like this so that you can hold it in your non-dominant hand. Um, it just really does make the whole process neater and easier. I'm really, really glad that I got this. Um, you can still buy these wands, I believe, on Julep's website, julep.com. If you struggle with getting your nail polish um, to look nice, I highly recommend this. Like I said, I didn't expect to love it nearly as much as I do, but super, super psyched that I picked this up in my May box and highly recommend it to anyone that has a hard time with polishing their nails. So yeah, absolutely loving the Julep wand, the plie wand it's called. Um, next. Um, next up, yep, this is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub, and I've sh talked to you guys about the Tree Hut Scrubs before. You guys know if you've watched my favorites before that I absolutely love these products. This one is the one in coconut lime, and this was the first time that I ever tried this scent, and I absolutely love it for summertime, you guys. It smells just like coconut lime. It's kind of the epitome of summer. And just like all the other Tree Hut scrubs, does a really, really great job of exfoliating my skin. So really, really loving that this month. And the very last thing that I want to talk to you guys about um, is my favorite home fragrance of the month. This one is from Sensationals. It's in Ginger Peach. It says, Juicy Peaches with a Pinch of Spicy Ginger. This smells just like peaches, you guys. So good. The, the scent throw on this is amazing. I light this in my living room and I'm telling you, it fills up my entire house. It is so good. Um, I really, really love the Sensationals. My children got me a plug-in wax warmer for Mother's Day, so I've especially been loving the wax cubes this month. Um, just really, really love this scent. So if you haven't tried this one um, and you like peaches, um, I find this very, very similar to Bath & Body Works Market Peach, which everybody raved about last summer. So um, if you really like that scent, but you don't want to spend the astronomical prices of Bath & Body Works candles, check this out. This is amazing. Um, so that's it, you guys. I think that's everything I wanted to talk to you about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and didn't mind my rambling and my bit of a patchy job of my bronzer here. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite products were for the month of May. I hope you have an incredible June, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye, everyone.